Good morning, everyone. It's good to see you guys again. What you doing? We're bringing your mama back outside. Yeah, we had babies. We had baby bunnies, and they got down to like really cold. Really cold, like teens um, at night. So for the first couple of days, we wanted to bring her in with the babies, so that way they had a better chance of surviving. <laughs> So we had an incident with one baby where we had one that was born really early, um, but was it two days? Yeah, two days before the others, um, but she was born and then uh, out of the box, so she was very cold, um, so she did not make it. And they are a couple days old now. Look at that fat baby. Ooh. So we've got two blacks and one white. Look at this sweet little face. And here's the last one. Mm, beautiful babies. I'll cover them back up. In here for mom. All right, you happy to be back in here? I know you're not happy with me. Because I put you in there. It is move day. Wanda and Luis. And then we're going to work on making some planter boxes. Because we ordered soil blockers today. And they should be here in a couple of days. So get the seeds started. But I need a place to put them. I've been doing a mixed feed for everybody got their grain, some black ball sunflower seeds, some grit, and some um, minerals so that everybody does well and does better than just having regular grains. And especially since these guys don't necessarily have like grass, um, it gives them a little extra protein and it also um, allows me to keep track of what I'm feeding them and they're not getting just grain. They're getting some other things as well. And then they have their calcium supplement which is also in their um it's in their hut over there so that's good i fill that up whenever they need it so so i put our little duckling in here for a little visit so that when he's old enough and ready to be put in full time it won't be such a shock Go check on the duckling. See how he's doing over here. Knowing him, he's probably in the pond, which is fine. Little one. Did y'all hear that? Little one. What are you doing? Are you in the water? You are in the water. What are you doing in there? You having fun? Yeah? Are you having fun in the water? Hmm? He doesn't want help. So, alrighty then. Look at this crew greeting me. Hello. Hello. Hello, love. Alright guys, so it's evening around here, which means it's project time. Um, we are working on these seed tray holders. So in case you didn't know, last year we used seed trays in order to start our seedlings. We used them in our grow room in the back, and they worked pretty well. They were not super effective. They had a couple issues like um, the roots got bound up. Uh, we would cut the roots when we had to pull them out. They weren't exceptionally like easy to get the, the seedlings out. We had transplant shock for the most part, um, but the main thing this year that we're going to try to do to fix that is soil blocks. Um, and one of the ways that we're going to kind of house the soil blocks is we want to create little trays for them to sit on 
Um, I've already done I've already done my measurements here. So each soil block is five by four for the micros, and those are three quarter by three quarter by three quarter blocks. So one tray is about three and three quarter and by three. Um, so basically what I've done here is I've marked out, I can put one block here up to about, I don't know if I can see my mark here. Doesn't look like, oh, right here. Uh, up to right here, and so this is one block, this is one block, this is one block, and this is one block for the micros. This is also one foot, so that means when we upgrade to the two inch blocks, we'll still be able to use this tray. As for the back of the tray, we're going to use this piece of wood and it should be wide enough that we can actually fit it on what's left of the space on this block. And then we'll just use um, another one of these uh, slats from our pallets to basically um, make the sides for it and then it'll be a three-sided system. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. We're going to make like three of these today and then um, I'm going to show you what else we need to get started on so that way we can get some prep going so we can get our garden started because it's better to start earlier than oh my gosh I got to plant seeds and now I don't have a garden to put them in because I wasn't thinking and blah 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 blah. So let's go ahead and get building. Alright, there we go. Look at that. That's nice. So, tray will sit like this. It'll have the seedlings in it. It can hold two inch and three quarter inch micro uh, seed starter uh, blocks. So, those will work out good. I got two done. So, we'll probably make maybe three or four um, to start out. We're not doing as many seeds next year. So, that's going to be it's gonna be the main thing. The other thing we need to start doing is laying out the walkways in our garden with this compost pile here. Compost pile, this is a wood chip pile. With the wood chip pile here. So that being said, once we get the wood chips in the walkways, then we'll be inside, we'll start seeds, and we'll probably start seeds here in the next month or two. Um, but we'll get our spring cool winter crops going and get them outside. So we need to cover the three rows over there. That's what I'm gonna work on tonight. And yeah, we're going to be coming at you with a lot of garden stuff. Now, I want to preface this with one simple like thing. We are not garden people. Like we, There are plenty of other people who are doing better than us at gardening, um, but we wanted to share our journey with you, some of the things that we've struggled with and done well with, and then some of the things we have not done well. The reason we are starting these seeds in the uh, soil blockers instead of the seed trays was because we just had so many issues with transplants and having them not work correctly or the roots got damaged or they got bound up or they had to be transplanted so often and transplanting is hard because you still had to dig them out of the tray you get what i'm saying or the trays broke that was another one we have two types of trays we have a heavy duty tray and we have a tray that we got that was on sale and they just didn't do well um they just didn't hold up so we're gonna try these i think these will work better um, I've got so many pallets out here. I can just make them and pallets that aren't even treated um, So that makes it even better when Jordan gets back from work. We'll show you what we're gonna have for dinner I think we're gonna have rabbit stew. It's gonna look really good. I haven't shared this with you guys uh, This is the second time we've made this recipe and if we like it again We are going to share it with you guys on this channel because uh, Me and food have a wonderful relationship that we would like to share with you <laughs> so 
Uh, I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna get some of these rows down out here, and then we'll transverse you inside as soon as Jordan gets home. All right, guys, we are finishing up with the soup tonight. Rabbit stew, like I said, I will show you how to make that. I think it is a staple that's here to stay. Maybe not so thick. You like that rabbit stew though? Mm -hmm. Yeah? That's good. Miss Jordan's home. Bam. Tell me, tell me, tell me. How'd you like your rabbit stew? Let the bowl speak for itself. Let the bowl speak for itself. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Cute little girl. Mm -hmm. Everybody's chilling. Except for you. <laughs> Everybody's chilling. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go to bed. Yeah. Yep. Thank you guys for joining us today. I know today was a little bit more chaotic and shorter, but we're getting back in the swing of things. Getting back in the swing of things. Christmas is done. We're moving on. So, till tomorrow, you guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.